Hello everyone and welcome back to Student Life. I hope you're all doing well. My name's Becky and in this video we are talking about plastic. So I'm sure you've heard a lot on TV and on social media and everywhere really about the devastating effect that single-use plastics are having on our earth. So some of the reasons why I think it's so important that we try and cut down on the amount of plastic that we use in our daily lives or at least try and reuse it is because it has been estimated that 50% of the plastic we use is only used once before it's thrown away. For example, plastic shopping bags, water bottles, food containers, and then they end up in landfill where people don't recycle them. And there they can take hundreds and even thousands of years to biodegrade. And in the process, they end up polluting the environments where wildlife live, for example, in the oceans. And I'm sure you've seen all the photos where loads of rubbish has been washed up on beaches or sea creatures have died and we've seen all the plastic that they've consumed, which is what has killed them. I also found out that every year humans throw away enough plastic to circle the earth three times, which is terrifying. So I'm gonna give you some tips and changes you can make in your daily life to reduce the amount of plastic you use and throw away. The Lincoln Estates website says that the UK throws away 10,000 coffee cups every two minutes. So if you go to a catering stand at the uni and you want to buy a coffee, it would be a really good idea to buy one of the reusable hot drinks cups, which I believe you buy for about five pounds. And then every time that you use that, when you buy a hot drink, you get a discount. So not only is it miles better for the environment because you're not throwing stuff away every time you get a drink, it will also save you pennies in the process. So my second tip, which might seem obvious, is to just use the recycling bins that are put around uni. They're there to be used. And it's so easy just if you've bought a bottle of water just to put it in the recycling bin rather than the landfill bin. It would make a massive difference if everyone did it. Speaking of plastic water bottles, I would definitely say it is a massive big help for people to buy reusable water bottles and to just fill them up on the water fountains rather than buying bottled water every day at uni. Again, so much better for the environment and saves you a bit of money too where you don't have to buy water every single day. But also, when you go into a supermarket and you're buying fresh produce like bananas, apples, and they offer those little plastic bags to put them in, don't take them, you don't need them, honestly. If you weigh your fruit on the scales, you get a sticker with a barcode, just stick it on the banana. Banana has a skin to protect itself, it doesn't need to be put in a bag. And if everyone stopped using those bags, that would make a massive difference too. So another tip to reduce the amount of plastic we're using around the home is to stop buying bottled water, which I kind of touched on earlier, but I know some people prefer to drink bottled water because they don't like the taste of tap water. And if that's the case for you, why not invest in a water filter jug? They can be quite expensive to buy initially, but imagine how much money you're saving by not buying plastic water bottles every time and how much better for the environment you're being. Finally, my tip for reusing plastic around the home is to reuse plastic food containers that you get. For example, if you were ordering a Chinese takeaway, it comes in those little plastic tubs with the lids. Well, rather than recycling them after you've used them, why not wash them out and then use them to store your leftover food afterwards? You can reuse them over and over again it will save you buying other plastic containers to store your food. And like everything I've said in this video, it's just so much better for the environment and it's such an easy change to make. So that's it for this video. If you guys have any changes that you have made to your daily life that is better for the environment, then let me know what they are down below. And I hope this video has been useful and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.